All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I think I have a boost leak on my car because I'm not hitting um, target target boost on it right now. After putting on that uh, access port, I can actually get a boost reading because I now finally have a boost uh, pressure gauge. So what I'm looking at right here, I think is the issue. Um, I've had this happen once before. I took it into the dealer. Um, I don't think it lasted more than seriously a week uh, before having another boost leak because the car just kind of sounded different right away. Um, so what that is, is the intercooler to throttle body mount. Um, it's a little piece of rubber hosing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just go through this. Um, just basically take off the intercooler. Um, I wanna take a quick peek at it to see if that's the issue, if there is a leak there. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's get started. So anyways, what I grabbed, I just grabbed a, let's grab this real quick. I'm just using this to take it off. And obviously just gonna torque it on lightly. Uh, I got a 12 millimeter, um, 12 millimeter socket. And then for the hose clamps there, I just, I just grabbed a huge extension just because I feel like why not get a big one if you have a big one, right? Um, this has a 5 16 on it. I'm just gonna use um, I'm just gonna use these channel locks just to uh, grab this little hose clamp off there. Um, you could probably use anything. I mean, you could use uh, some, you know, some needle nose pliers or something along those lines, or just some um, maybe even lineman pliers, something like that. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna take off these uh, intercooler bolts over here. So I'm just gonna take these off real quick. So, uh, all right, so I'm just gonna, whoo, it's kinda hot still. Car's a little warm still. I was driving it not too long ago, so pop those off. Um, also got this one right up here. Hope you can see that, so we're gonna take that one off. All right, I'm just setting these all on the ground. Um, then we got these two for this mount. Get that. Okay, so intercooler is almost already loose. Um, I mean, I'm just doing this. Car's under warranty and everything, but I want to check it out because, I mean, come on. Why should I go to the dealership if really I just need to fix this myself? I mean, if it's that easy, why not do it yourself, right? So, anyways, so now I just took off the the hose on the uh, the bypass valve, diverter valve blow off valve, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so I'm taking that off and then also I'm going to pull this hose off right here. So just squeeze that, give it a nice squeeze. Just try to get that off there real quick. All right. Okay. So got that off there. Okay. So now we got that out. Um, should be able to take out this little mount real quick. So let's pull this out. It's got a little clip right here on this hose, so we'll make sure to get that back on there. Pull that out. Just kind of goes through here. Set that aside. Um, so from there, I think this thing is pretty much off. We got the uh, you got a little O-ring on the passenger side over there, so that looks like it's still on there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, undo this hose clamp right here, just to the uh, to the intercooler. So for that, I'm gonna grab this 5 16 right on the socket. Just click it on there. Get it right down there. Um, wait, I'll put a light on it real quick. So you can see this hose, hopefully, this hose clamp. It should be the last thing, as far as I know, that's hooked on here. So it's gonna loosen that up. And that was really loose. I mean, that thing had like no torque on it. So, you know, I don't know if the last time they did it, they didn't tighten it enough or what, but let's go ahead and try to take this intercooler off now. So I think this thing will just pop off once it pops off the hose. Yep. Oh, and look at that. Looky right there. Do we have a boost leak issue? I don't know. Does that hose look like it just popped right off? Does it look caved in on itself maybe? Yeah, that could be a that could be a problem, couldn't it? So anyways, let's see if I I mean I got quite a bit of 
quite a bit of oil in here too. Um, you know, just blow by it looks like, right? So, the, uh, there's the O-ring gasket, and that's the intercooler. I mean, what did that take me right there? It took me five minutes to take that thing off. You know, it's not hard. It's pretty basic, just look at it. Pretty simple, right? Let's we'll set that aside for right now. So, I'm just gonna take a peek over here, see what this throttle body looks like. It's the first time I've kind of looked in here. So, yeah, actually, so, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the other day, I was telling the guys, hey, at the dealership, there seems to be a little bit of oil on my car when I look down at the bottom. They told me, oh, that's just blow by. Well, why is it blow by? I mean, it makes sense, but where's it coming out of, right? So anyways, that's Subaru for you. Um, they don't really look into it that hard. I don't think the technicians, you know, they know what they're doing, obviously, but you gotta tell them exactly what's going on or else they're obviously not gonna look that hard into it. So, that clamp on the, th on the front of that throttle body, I didn't even loosen this clamp. You guys saw it. I just yanked that thing right off. So that's obviously gonna be a boost leak issue as far as I know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, look at this thing. It's covered in oil, you know. So, cool. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that up, um, see if I can't get this resealed. I've heard um, a little bit from some guys on forums and whatnot, um, just talking about possibly doing like hairspray. So I might try that. It's kind of like, reminds me of the old bicycle grip, you know, handlebar grips when you put them on. So, so actually I just kind of tucked that all back in. So that looks like it kind of has an extra, extra little seal. So, you know, I don't know if it's ripped or anything, but I mean, it definitely came out of there with, with no effort whatsoever. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna inspect this a little more and uh, let you guys know if I can just fix the issue right here and there. I'm probably gonna get a Mishimoto um, silicone throttle body to intercooler hose so that this problem just goes away. I've just heard, I mean, I've heard these things are notorious for, for having this issue, so. All right, thanks guys. Hey, what's up guys? So I kind of looked over that video. I know I was kind of all up over in front of the battery and whatnot. So I'm gonna get in there a little deeper handheld because I was on that, that mount before. So this is the oil I was talking about. Um, can you kinda, kinda see it, right? Like in between that nut in there. You see a little bit of it. That's the throttle body itself right down there. Um, you know, like I said, I told them that I, you know, these hoses down here, you can see right down on the bottom where it's, Maybe you can see it where it's kind of shiny down there. You see a little bit of oil residue. Um, I told them about that and they said blow by. So like I said before, if it's blow by and it's an enclosed system, it's gotta be leaking out of somewhere and it was obviously leaking out of the intercooler. So that's the throttle body right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, gonna go ahead and clean up this hose and take it off there and get a better seal on it. Okay, so uh, after loosening up this clamp on the rear of the uh, the hose, which goes to the throttle body, I noticed that th this actually is a two-piece right here. So this actually comes off. So this is the piece, you know, that a lot of the time I think tears. Um, that's the main the main seal right there. Um, so you guys can see that. So again, I'm gonna clean it up this oil on it because I mean. That's probably not gonna make it seal as good. Um, so we're cleaning that up and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reinstall this on there. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna try this hairspray thing. So basically go snag your girl's stuff. Um, I mean, I just grabbed this, some Paul Mitchell uh, hairspray. Doesn't have to be this, it can be any sort of hairspray. Um, so I'm just gonna try this. I'm basically, I'm just gonna apply it around the edges here. And then when I go to put it on, I'm gonna put it on the inside of this lip here too. 
Um, I'm hoping that it's, it's basically gonna act sort of as a lubricant for a little bit, but then once it dries, it's gonna kind of be, you know, how hairspray is, it's gonna dry up hard. So the idea is it's gonna be like a light, sort of like a light glue, I'm hoping. Um, I mean, I just read about this on the forum, so I'm gonna try it out. What can it hurt? Uh, you know, I might, like I said, I might still get another, uh, another, another throttle body to intercooler hose. So let's try this out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on my chest. I'm sorry if I, you know, get out the shot or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm not really looking at the camera when I'm doing this, so bear with me. So I'm just gonna do it on the backside, the throttle body side first, and then I'm gonna clamp that down on the actual engine, and then I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the uh, reinstall the intercooler after that, so that I know that is nice and tight, and the other part is pr basically easier to get to because this is way down there in the engine compartment, so it's a lot harder to get to. So, anyways. Just apply some of this. So I'm just putting it around the, you know, I might just swipe it on the inside here. I'm just putting it around there. Um, you know, I'm going to um, put this clamp on. I'm gonna take that clamp off first. Work it on the hose here. Sorry, I might have been out of picture. Uh, working on the hose here. Get a good, get a good grip on it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that hose clamp back on there. Just bring it back over the top. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the inside as well. Um, so, gonna apply it on the inside ring here. Now hopefully this will hopefully this will help it. We'll see. We're doing a little driving test video so we'll see if it works. Alright so now I'm putting it back onto the throttle body. I'm gonna get my hands down in there. Probably cannot probably can't see this but Basically, working it down into there, so I'm gonna get it on there solid. It is important to get it on there firmly. That way we get a good seal. Okay, so I'm pushing pretty hard. Um, you know, I can actually take my hand, I can kind of put it on the inside. I can feel the inner ring of the uh, throttle body on there so and then my hose clamp is right through the middle right down through here um, is where you're gonna find the uh, the hose clamp so just adjust that to where it's gonna work with your um, 5 16 wrench so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and just tighten that part back up so I'm just getting in there grabbing it you may want to grab the other side of it that way you know, you can make sure that the um, that the hose clamp is on there properly. Um, might want to just feel around it, you know. So I'm just going to tighten this on here. Not too tight, you know. I'm just going to give it a little, just a little bit of torque. Um, it's pretty, you know, it's on there good now. I can give it a good yank. And as you can see, it's not, it's not coming off. So before I didn't even loosen that bolt at all. I did not even loosen that one. It just came right off there. So, all right. So now put a little bit of this on the other clamp on the front, or maybe I'll just put it on the intercooler itself. Um, it's going to put it around there again. I just put it on my finger. Just kind of run it around. Again, this is just a little trick I heard about. This may or may not be the proper way. I take no liability if this, uh, you know, makes anything worse, basically. So, 
go ahead and put this back on here. So we'll just set this intercooler back down in here. So the first thing I'm going to want to do before this hairspray dries, is I want to get that clamp. I want to get that clamp on there solid. So make sure to, you know, it pops in there. Pops in there pretty good. Grab your light. Just make sure it looks solid. Um, you guys can see it but I'm basically making sure that you know everything feels like it's on the intercooler good I'm gonna grab my 5 16 again we'll tighten that up so yeah I know you don't want to over torque these um, just doing it lightly I think that's maybe why it was so loose before. Um, either that or, I mean, maybe I even have a bad hose clamp, who knows? Um, could also be that. So, I mean, just, I'm just giving it just a little, little bit of torque. I mean, I don't know, five pounds maybe, who knows? Just until it feels firm and solid. Um, you know, that feels good right there, I think. You know, if I have an issue, I can tighten it up more. It's easy to get to. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just put the mount back on. That was this mount right here. So this, if I remember right, just kind of goes through here. Um, it goes underneath the intercooler. This hose right here clicks in, right? So let's get that on there. This hose goes back to the bypass valve. This hose also back to the bypass valve so I'm gonna wait on that one let me uh, let me go grab my bolts real quick all right so let's get these so the two small bolts let's go on the front part of the intake right here you're gonna want to hold it back these are threaded these are machine threaded so you can just hand hand tighten them in there oh looks like I cut myself so to a warning you may cut yourself Something's in there sharp. I didn't even feel it, so whatever. Anyways, it's just what happens when you work on your car. Busted knuckles. It's part of the game. So, getting that one going right there. So, just gonna put that on here. Let's torque that. Not really torque it down, but we'll just tighten it down a little bit. And I'll switch to the other side before we like fully torque it. But let's tighten these bolts down real quick. Um, just wanted to spin this on here. This is, I don't know, on a scale from one to 10, I mean, I'd probably rate this, I don't know, maybe a three, depending on your mechanical skills. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple, I think. So, it's just undoing a couple bolts, taking a peek at what's going on here. And I mean, you're just kind of diagnosing your problem. It's just kind of part of a, you know, having a performance car. Um, you know, so I haven't really torqued these down. They're just kind of loose on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other two bolts into the intercooler over here. So these ones, this is just a O-ring. It goes right into the turbo. Um, I don't know if you guys can't see this. Like I said, I've said it a couple times. I'm on a chest mount, so I'm just kind of trying to go through this quickly. Um, just finger tighten those in there. You know, I don't think you're gonna have too much trouble with boost leaks on this side of the intercooler. I mean, O-rings for the most part are pretty good. Uh, don't take that for a fact, because I mean, it could obviously have a torn O-ring. The surface could not be flat or something like that, but I mean, I don't know, O-rings are pretty, pretty easy to diagnose. If they're not torn, if they're not smashed, they're usually good. So we're just kind of tightening that up a little bit. Tighten on the other side. I 
it's a plastic part, so just get it snug on there. I mean, it's probably polymer, but you know what I mean. It could break. Don't over tighten it. Um, I'm just kind of wiggling this as I put it on there just to make sure it's on there nice and tight. Um, so right there, I'm feeling it snug up. So give it a little bit of torque. Not a ton. All right, we'll go tighten up this other side. Okay, get these last two bolts. And then don't forget to get that hose. I gotta grab my, um, my channel locks again. Uh, all right, so we're just gonna squeeze that. Now, on the first video, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're just squeezing that guy. Um, just gonna slip it over. It was a little hard to get off. This was probably one of the hoses that was a little harder to get off. I had to give it a little bit of effort. So, Bear with me as I try to get this back on. Okay, I feel it. It's over it. Now just loosen this up and push it over. Let's get it sealed down. Feel around it, loosen it up. That is back on there. All right. Everything, everything feels like it's all torqued down. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and go plug in that access port and get some boost readings. I'm probably gonna put it back down to the uh, normal wastegate and do some data logging, see what kind of boost levels I'm getting. And I'll let you guys know if that fixes it up. Um, I'll record the in car. All right guys, so I'm gonna do a little, uh, turn this off. It's raining out, so might be a little noisy in here but i'm gonna do a little freeway pool um right now i haven't i just reset the uh, the boost gauge so i haven't hit any peak numbers yet i haven't even gone into boost so i'm just gonna merge on the freeway real quick do a quick pull here see what we get looks like the max i've hit right now was 15.21 so that's pretty good that's a that's a lot better than i was hitting before um before i never even hit uh past 15 psi so i know that might not be the ideal target boost um felt like it pulled good let's do a little third gear here just do a quick little see it's staying up there in the boost as well um before it would like it would peak for less than a second i mean it would just peak to 14 psi and it would just dip off right away i would just go 14 back down to 11s um stuff like that so you know it, it definitely seems like it's a lot better um we'll see how we'll see if it actually makes it last um you know this is that's the first pull i've done on it so i'm on the uh stage one uh sf comp tune uh acn arizona california nevada you know 91 octane tune um i'm here i'm in sacramento i'm in california so um what i might do is uh might just switch it over to the um the highway skate and see if it keeps boost up a little bit higher i might just pull over real quick change maps and uh see what that does so all right thanks guys okay so i changed maps i'm just gonna do a quick pull this is the highway skate map so I'm gonna data log this, see how it goes, see what kind of target boost we hit. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm up there in the 13 PSI range, so that seems a lot better. Max boost to hit 15.56, so that's a lot better. I mean, you guys can hear it spooling. Look, I got 15.8. Actually, I saw it hit 16 psi, so that's right around what it should be. Uh, 16 pounds of boost. So it's in fourth gear. Um, it's in uh, third. Let's do a quick little pull. Yeah, it's it's sticking way higher for the boost level. So. Feels like what I did with that uh, with that hairspray and just kind of cleaning it up. 
that did actually help it quite a bit. Looks like I hit a, a max boost of uh, 16.17. Um, so that's a uh, pretty good there. So, anyways. performance I can't really tell um, my I had my buddy ride in the car earlier he said it felt a lot faster so but I mean who, who's to really say um, anyways all right thanks guys